How you doing, Miss? You good? I'm good. I don't know if you can see, but I've got the Bart Simpson phone back here too. I got it on there for you. You gotta please. Let's do. That's the. Let's that. Let that be the first thing we do. You want to open it? Take a photo of you holding yours <laughs> and me holding mine. Guys, get your screenshot ready and put this in your stories and tag right. us. Here we go. Twinsies. <laughs> Woo! Wow. All right, guys. When are you going to open yours? Foremost, Mine's sealed. Yeah, fam. Why are you trying to play me, son? You <laughs> see, she's already trying to battle. What's going on in America? So I want everybody to get comfortable. Uh, Double P's in here. She's she's pumped up. I'm so looking forward to this uh, episode. Been looking forward to this episode since, since forever. Um, but... I want everybody on her side and my side to get comfortable. What we would like for you guys to do is make sure you encourage everybody uh, who's watching this to share it to at least one person who's amazing, who likes to see uh, items that they that are uh, going to be shown, and also uh, two individuals who uh, like great energy. So, with all that being said, double P's. How amazing is life? Life is good. So you guys are joining me in my closet because the record room is now a classroom. Because, you know, kiddos aren't going back to school. So that's what we got to do. But it's a tight fit. We're in here, though. What's up, everybody? I love it. Thank you for making it possible. Thank you for being a guest. Um, I hope that you've been enjoying episodes yes. uh, on Show Off Your Gems. Sure. Has it been entertaining? Yeah, it's really entertaining. It's good to see the homies. Sometimes I don't get to see everything. I mean, I see schemes and I see Supremes because we'd be battle texting each other, but everybody right. else has some dope stuff too. So thanks for sharing. Thanks for having me on. Well, uh, you know, if, if, if we can, uh, I, I put in the location of the photo, uh, which it wasn't, but I put it uh, Chile. Yes. Because your dad is the dude who's banging uh, rock music around your crib. Yes. And <laughs> And, and you've become, you know, that's where kind of, uh, you know, you got the confidence to really rock with this type of music. Now, is it Las Vegas where you're raised? No, I was born in Los Angeles. Excuse me, I was born in Chile. I was, I moved to LA when I was about two. And then I came out here to Vegas in my twenties. Phenomenal. So mm -hmm. she, she she's out there. And then, um, you know, your older sister uh, intrigues you with, uh, another genre of music, yes? So my sister, uh, she was a raver. I don't know if you guys had that on the East Coast, but back in the day <laughs> <Yes>. in LA, <laughs> she was the one going to all those parties. She was two years older than me, and she would just drag me along with her because that's the only way my mom would let us out of the house. Um, she actually dated a graffiti writer um, in a crew called CBS, really famous crew in Los Angeles. Awesome. And her boyfriend uh, gave me, I'm gonna show you this first thing, he gave me this tape, okay? So this is a tape by a DJ, rest in peace, and a writer named Rob One, okay, if you guys are familiar. Um, he had a series of tapes called West Coast Indies, and that's how I got onto hip hop. It was like Dell, Defara, Hyro, Souls of Mischief, Raz Kaz, and that's how it all started. So shout out to Rob One, <laughs> rest in peace. Yes, rest peacefully to Rob One. And that becomes the ride where uh, you just start uh, just falling for the culture of all things amazing. Absolutely. And um, I, I, when when I get to do my homework on you, I am intrigued because, um, of course, we know you fall in love with music and everything. But being a, a Chilena and and your work, your story and your identity in the United States, um, you know what gives you that confidence to to move forward as you're growing up uh you know so my parents i got here at a really young age um they influenced <laughs> me by their music um we had to oh by the way happy national thrift store day if you guys didn't know that's today <laughs> so if you're a digger it is it's today happy digging um but to add to that my parents used to always take me to the thrift stores. That's just, that was my culture. That's how we grew up. That was just a necessity of life. So I was always around secondhand things. Um, and I think that really just shaped me into all of this, just a natural progression of thrifting and music, clothing. And then, 
and then you found you found your thing um but not only that as far as like music uh, associating things and things from from a certain moment of your life but you were more you were also handy like you know intrigued and fixing things yes yeah so <laughs> i would bring a lot of junk home broken things home and i still do it to this day and uh you know school of youtube <laughs> Yes. And just learn how to fix stuff. So I do fix a lot of my own players up, in case anybody didn't know that, because you usually don't find them in working condition. And yes. it's all good. And in your in in the bio, it's like a portable uh, turntable museum. Um, I loved it. It was so intriguing. But how you fell on that? Unofficial. Um, I just ended up with a lot of them. Um, I think here at home, I probably have about 150. I was going through them yesterday. Um, and I have a lot more in my storage and I flip them too. But if there's anybody else out there who's got anything quantity wise, like hit me up because I would love to connect and actually make that um, a thing, like something you could actually walk into, like something tangible to look at. So that would be cool. Yes. But for now, okay. you're just gonna rock with me on IG and get to look at them. Yes, and that's and and that's the beauty of show off your gems. Where, of course, um, you know when the first episode was with Crazy Legs, and he was like, "Wow, this is like a uh, kind of like a new version of telling the history of certain pieces that land in culture of music or even toys." But um, you know, with you, a lot of people started hitting me up that were also collectors of portable uh, turntables and they all seem like if they were kind of like enlightened and how beautiful is it that you have uh, inspired a lot of people yeah um, um, I do get people hitting me up um, asking if I sell them I do sell them um, I also have people asking me which one should I get there's so many options um, some people know how I feel about the newer ones. I always say buy vintage. You're helping the earth. You're buying a, a quality piece of equipment because like if you go to the store now and, and like a Target or something, you get one, you pick one up. The thing weighs like a pound and a half. You know, you get a, an old one, that thing weighs like 10 pounds. So it just goes to show you, and they still work. I have players that are like 60 years old and they still work. Well, that's beautiful. I can't wait. Now, uh, Double P's, I got to tell you, I do not know what it is you have. Uh, you're going <laughs> to show it in the way that you want to show it. Uh, there is no strategy unless you have one, and that's fine because usually mm -hmm. uh, that how, that is how it works here. But I want everybody to get comfortable. This is Show Off Your Gems. My name is Destroy, and that amazing human being right there is Double P's. Uh, you know, that's what they refer to her in the hood, in the mean streets <laughs> of LA and Vegas. <laughs> in, the, so, in the mean streets of IG, yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, with that being said, Double P's, show off your gems. Okay, so I'm going to start with just a couple of records. Everybody knows I have them, so I'm not going to get too into that. But um, I'm going to show you some of my favorite ones. Um, I really like the cardboard ones. So these used to come um, on cereal boxes and you can cut them out. And I don't know if you can see that, but those are De La Soul <laughs> ones, okay? What? And they play, they play. I've actually had many more, I've given them away, but I've never found one on the actual box. So if anybody has one with the complete box, please hit me up. But uh, I think it's Plug One's birthday, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, Happy and I don't know birthday, if you guys can see the shirt. The De La shirt, Black Lives Matter, okay? Um, Love if anybody it. wants one after the show, I'll tag it, hit me up. All the proceeds go to a really good cause. So just throwing that out there. Um, Love it. Here's a Jackson 5 serial record. Yes. Okay. You got Diana Ross and the Supremes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Sugar Bear. Everybody's got. <laughs> you know that theme song? Okay. This is dope. This is a cardboard tribe called Quest 45. Uh, it comes with, yeah, it comes with 3D glasses. So if you put them on, you can see the picture popping. I actually have two of them because it's that dope. 
<laughs> Why not? Why yeah. wouldn't she have two exactly. of them? She's double P's, double track Double, double doubles. doubles. Uh, this is a Lord Finesse postcard record that also plays on your turntable. Shout out to Lord Finesse. Here's a Biz Marquee postcard record signed by the Biz. What? Uh, <laughs> here's a Stone Star one for Tuxedo. Shout out to Jake one. Also plays. Or you can send it to someone. Love it. Mr. Big Stuff. That's a Jean Knight. Um, She's out here. This is a little white stripes record i like the tiny ones too seven nation army what okay. <laughs> another this is a lord finesse five inch lord finesse you're like the king of formats shout out to him yes mm -hmm. he's the reason and, why uh, i became a rapper yes mayor hawthorne five inch okay um these are Hip Pocket Records. I don't know if anybody's hip to those. You used to actually be able to put these in your pocket and play them on small players. They're little flexies. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Um, She's calmly killing it, guys. That's what she is. Subtle. Subtle assassin. Okay, this is a Flexi Pop mag. This is Blondie on the cover. So these used to come with Flexi records inside of them. This is Blondie and Fat by Freddy doing Rapture. <laughs> wow. I really like Blondie, so I'm in the Blondie fan club. This is a Blondie Valentine's Day card. Yes. For your loved ones. <laughs> You're uh, in the Blondie fan club fan? Yes. Yeah, I love me some Blondie. Okay. Um, I don't know. I've never seen anybody else with this, but if you have it, hit me up. This is a Big Daddy Kane Tootsie Roll promo. <laughs> for Save for Chocolate. That? What? Yeah. Turn it. What's it say in the bottom? It's just for the taste of chocolate. Taste of chocolate. Wow. Okay. I just want to... Wow. This is the Michael Glove. <laughs> I kind of want to open it. It's sealed, but I really want to put it on. Like, that would be fire. <laughs> oh my. Um, this is for my homie. Supreme Rock. I know he was on and he had this game called Ball Busters, but I got the J5, Jackson 5. This thing's pretty dope. Like a game so this is what the cards look like. Wow. So, if anyone, if anybody wants to play, hit me up. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, Fifth Element, she's killing it. <laughs> this is a delicious pizza. This is a staple in LA. So if anybody's yes, ever in LA, is. go hit them up. They actually have really good pizza, but I figured I'd keep one of the boxes. Never know. Smart. Fat Boys Pizza record box. Yes. All right. Um, Oh, these are cool. So when uh, Tribe Called Quest had their pop-up shop, I don't know if you can see that, for their last shop, they were giving out their merch in this bag. Ooh. Wow, so how, so like, I got the you're falling in love, uh, you know, when you're young with hip hop, of course, you mentioned uh, Del Hyro and all that stuff going on. Um, I, I, what is that, that first, or those first, that full, that really capture you, musically? 
yeah, songs, I mean, albums, and all that. Exactly. Like it all spoke to me. Um, you know, I I had a pretty hard you know childhood, but just attaching myself to music that got me through. I know a lot of people. It helped them in that way. So it was definitely therapy for me. Um, it still is. I mean, even through what's going on right now, I just throw music on and go through my day that way. Um, I'm gonna show you this. This is a, a lot of people ask me about this. So this is a Wu-Tang 8-track. Shout out to Cash Money. And here's the far side one. Um, <laughs> these are not official. These are just two of my favorite albums. I have a lot of 8-tracks. So I had two. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this guy's stuck. Yeah, so it's it's it actually plays. It's not just like the artwork, but oh wow, it's pretty dope. Yeah, so good. she's out here. She's not. She didn't come to play. <laughs> uh, do you guys want to see some radios? I yes, got we, okay. we want to see gems and okay. so far, sis, you're smashing. Oh, you know what? Hold on. First, I'm going to show you these because... So I grew up in LA. These were really popular in my childhood. Yes. Homies, if you guys are familiar. Um, these are the home girls. These are a little more rare to find. Ooh. No. <laughs> Sweet. So these are homies from oh I like to collect um the vending machine cards. So this one actually came from a vending machine. Very taboo. They did get rid of them after a while. <laughs> um Oh guys, I know you guys understand the American words that she just spoke. <laughs> um same, this came from a vending machine, but I don't know, Canadians are kind of crazy because for some reason they thought razor blades would make like good charm bracelets and necklaces. <laughs> Very good. I'm gonna have to ask Marco Polo, he's Canadian. <laughs> wow. Um, same vending machine. I don't know, I used to flip out over vending machine items when I was a kid, so I still... And like, they don't make them like this anymore. You can't get guns the, for a quarter anymore. Um, what else? You wanna wrap along? I just like old silly toys. Yes. Um, Hot Wheels came out with a collect, uh, a series of disco and soul little rides. <laughs> now now so, some of these items definitely stimulate you and become like escapisms for you to look at right in the sense yeah. where like man you know you you either you get them from a certain time and you you kind of look back and say you know i'm happy i made it through type of deal um but these things keep you smiling and if you can you know tell me about like that feeling to know that you have these items around so a lot of people will say when somebody is a hoarder they hoard things you know they're unhappy um i don't call myself a hoarder i'm just a collector i these things make me happy like i stare at all this stuff in my place and i'm like cool like it reminds me of a certain time even if it was before my time it's like a piece of history and i love history so that brings me joy uh if you've ever read that marie kondo book she's like whatever doesn't bring you joy throw it out well i'm not throwing my stuff out because it brings me Happiness, <laughs> and so it'll stay with me for a while. Wow. All right, so I'm gonna move on to some radios. Yes. Fam, she's okay. got a track called Quest. <laughs> okay, go. Oh, fans, yeah. So this is a Soundwave cassette player. You pop the tape in here, you push down on his head and it plays your cassette. Um, I do use these, so they do work. I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to say after, after after that. What am I supposed to say, America, of Palestinians on 
the number one Chilean <laughs> IG show. She showed us a sound wave, fam, that plays a cassette, fam. Okay, yes. continue, sis. Okay, this is a uh, Masters of the Universe boombox. <laughs> Your tape in there. <laughs> I take this. I've taken this guy to the park with me. He's it's solid. Wow. This is a Bugs Bunny boombox. Um, it does play. Yeah, I was playing. Shout out to Stretch and Bobito. So it was on their lives. So, uh... Oh my gosh, guys! <laughs> what <are> we... <laughs> Everybody, every item she shows, we gotta slow clap her because she's just smashing it, guys. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the dot Yo! Oh my god! To dot X and Bugs Bunny. Dot X coming out of Bugs Bunny. Then you got. I'm gonna show off your gems. Look at this girl. This is my homie right here. Pop your tape in. It's got some sound effects. Take him on the go. He plays well too. Fam. Fam. You got your. <laughs> she got some minutes. She had the big one, but that's like the small that's one if you want to go jogging mini. and out of space. Darth Vader, boombox. <laughs> this is dope. This is a Sesame Street player, but what's dope about it is that Ernie comes with a mic and you could do karaoke. Wow. So, <laughs> she um, said, what's dope about this one? <laughs> Bam! This is a cassette boy, so also a tape player. Pop your tape in right there. <laughs> Came in wow. a different, couple different colorways. The cassette boy. The cassette boy. He says she had me at the low end theory pants. <laughs> this is a Voltron radio. I really like um, transistor radios because when we were kids, they came out with so many different, like, if there was a show you liked, the merch was on top of it. Like, they just really killed it. If you want to get your Roger Troutman on, it's got the synthesizer voice. Zach and Roger. <laughs> um, this is one of my favorites. This is Mr. T. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Okay. Okay, what's cool about him is you put your little headphones on, but it's got the feather, so you can rock just like Mr. T did. And then it, nobody in school would clown you if you wore this. Never. Never. Oh my. This is happening. I show off your gems, guys. This is a Fat Albert radio. That is mind blowing. Everything you've shown so far is mind blowing. Okay. You. Well, let's keep going because there's a lot. Oh my gosh. Okay. Masters of the Universe player. What's cool about this one is you flip it over and you got Skeletor on the other side. Wow. Oh my, guys, oh my. Keep going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
right? And she said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I, I get hype about my own stuff too. So when I see it, I'm like, yeah, that's a good <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <sighs> so here's Kit. Dun, 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 but he's also a radio. <laughs> Michael Knight in the crib. Oh my gosh. This is a six million dollar man radio. This is cool. It's Steve Austin's backpack um, and a helmet. So you attach it. I have them over there, but you attach it to him. Um, you can clamp it onto any kind of grounded metal and it'll pick up a radio signal. So like some real science right here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wow! So this goes to show that toys were way cooler and educational back then. Wow. We got the MJ radio. <laughs> a lot of, I'm not showing you this, but a lot of these things I kept the boxes for because like the artwork and the font and the info, like I'm really obsessed yes. with that. It's super amazing. It's spectacular, the whole look of it. The fact that you're holding yeah. it in your hand, it's blowing my mind. I can't wait to look back and see when you just say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Yeah, G.I. Joe. Do you guys remember the Snorks? The little underwater guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. This is a Barbie, ra it's a radio, but it's a watch. But I'm like, yo, like what little girl was able to like carry that on her? Yeah, she you had know? one. But I don't care because I like it. Mad disco. Wow, guys. Um this is the Bee Gees rhythm machine. <laughs> I mean, I can only play like Mary Had a Little Lamb, but let's go. Oh my gosh. It's the Bee Gees radio. The Bee Gees but, are putting out a lot of merch too. I don't, I'm not sure why, but people were really Yes, because they were killing it <laughs> in international waters. Yeah, exactly. Um, let me come over here. Wow, guys. <sighs> I really like these guys because they have like real hair. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Here's my man Gumby. He's a radio mm -hmm. too. He's a he's a radio too. <laughs> I don't know. Everything's like a cake or a radio here. You don't know. Wow. You guys remember the California raisins? I said sing that song like every day I never took him out of the box so <laughs> guys that's double piece fam she didn't come to play this is very old Batman wrist radios you got the spidey headphones <laughs> you can tell how old it is by the styrofoam nasty yes. packaging but you know what it still it still works wow wow charlie brown looking like a b-boy or something but <laughs> <laughs> yes looking like uh the, the dylan inspiration image exactly right this is a tony the tiger radio Remember Little Sprouts? He's a radio. Yes. All right, put those headphones back before, you know, get it out <laughs> your way. <laughs> Guys, sheesh. Let's go put okay. that back. Get it cleared up on, show off your gems. Here we go. I really like the Muppets, so got to get the Muppets radios. <laughs> All this just reminds me of, like, my childhood, so probably why I hold on to this stuff. Okay, um... So I like stuff like this, like, so you think it's a can of DW40, but no, 
It's a radio. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like everybody should have this in their garage. Um, this is just like some cool mod mid-century stuff. I mean, shout out to Radio Shack though. That was like my Radio favorite store. Radio Shack. The radio. Yes. Today's episode is sponsored by Radio <laughs> Shack. Exactly. I used to get all my batteries there. That's you know, because all these things take batteries. Okay. These are wrap shades. Does anybody have these joints? What? Let me see the kid with the in the on the. Exactly. Yeah, look at these kids. They look mad happy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, wrap shades. Uh, this is from '92, so I think that was a good year for wrap. Yes, wrap shades. Wrap shades. Um, so walking wrap shades, fam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got the Hulk kazoo, Mr. T. Yes, now what I love about the Mr. T, <laughs> wait, there's so many levels to this. What do you like about it, fam? Can we talk about these cats, fam? Yeah, yes. What was it? <laughs> I have the funniest, like, Mr. Like, I have a book somewhere here, but yeah, he's with a bunch of kids and cats. So I'm like, I don't know what the cat obsession <laughs> was, but. Yo, can we show the people the cats, fam? Yo, there's just cats, like, on Mr. T. Like, what's good, Pop? <laughs> Jewelry and cats, they go together. We got the Richie Rich sunglasses. <laughs> Some puppy Michael stickers. This was when he was dressing real bad, too. Oh my God, the, these are the ones they've never come off, fam. I know. You'd you have to throw your, off whatever you stuck on it. Put them on your locker and you're screwed. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Oh, it's just, it's a Michael Jackson, uh, it's like a note, notepad, memo pad. <laughs> just Yeesh. random stuff I find at thrift stores or flea markets or whatever. It's an Ultraman whistle. <laughs> it's happening, guys. That's double piece. <laughs> um, I said no, I told her no, don't. Don't, don't come on the show. She said, it's going to have to happen, bro. And we're people here. Were, people were harassing, so. <laughs> um, here's the salt and pepper pops. This is like the newest thing I've bought. Yes. I love it, though. I mean, they look really good. So these had to come home. Fire. <sighs> this is the UBB doll. I know a lot of people have it, but mine's sign. I break you loose. Is that a flaw? Salute to Break V Lou. He's a snack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is cool. I'm super obsessed with Von Bo Day. You guys know who that is in the graffiti culture. This is one of his characters. How beautiful is that? Yes. Um, got the Star Wars joint. <laughs> Probably my favorite part of the movie. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, yo, know, you show stuff, sis, and I'm like, man, like the rebuttal to like the items you show, I really have none <laughs> and I want to have some because they're so official. And I love how you're, you're humble about it, you know, where you've attained these things in various ways, as you say, you know, with that Michael Jackson book, how you like, you just attained it different ways from flea markets, from 
thrift spots or whatever. A lot of these things I've had for a really long time too. So, I mean, yes, I still get hype about it, but I, I, I kill myself when I go online. I see what they're worth now. I'm like, oh, I can't afford them now. So I'm glad I, I kept them. Yes, I mean, but like you said, it's it's man, it's it's hard to explain. It's deeper than just something in your in your possession. It's like it's more than just an item, a tangible. It's like a moment, like you know, like from your history and you're like you know i'm i'm <laughs> like it's, it's there's levels to this there's levels to what you got yeah wow. okay um, all right you, you got see. you got more yeah that's all some right. record players here if people want to see <laughs> <laughs> this is what she's doing so i'm just going to pick out some of my favorite ones okay this one is the Panasonic SG-123. So if you wanted to play along with your record, yeah. that's what it was there for. Um, you got, <laughs> this is the box it came in. I mean, I look love things. So, like, like, look at these kids. Look I at wish that. I was that's, one of those kids. That was me. That's my white <laughs> parents, fam. <laughs> This is another joint I like. It's a panda. He's a player. You could do some karaoke. So those two were from Japan, obviously. The next level. Mm -hmm. Let's see who's nice with their panda emojis. What's this? This is a, another Japanese player. Some spacey stuff. This is one of my favorite players because it plays your tapes. Your it's a whole thing. It's a whole system. And then this panel lights up when you play music on it. <laughs> so it's real disco. It's got level to it. It even makes you... Hot pockets. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Um, these are sound burgers is what they call them because they open up like this. You could pop your tape in there. Pop your record right there. Oh my gosh. Eric B and Rock Hammer in there. I'm not, I, I thought I lost that tape, so that's cool. <laughs> This is the Sesame Street version of it. Oh my. Wow. And then he'll spin around when your record's playing. When the record's playing. Guys, that's double B's. I said, no, you're never coming on the show. And she was like, I, I got to. It's so freaking annoying. I got this to. This one, my friend sent me from Russia. So I don't know what that says. I hope it says like dope or dig or I don't know if anybody nah, can let me know. Fam, you don't want to know what that says, man. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's cool. He comes with a speaker that you can detach. So you can really rock out. Um, a lot of people ask me about this one. This was from Sears. This is the record truck van <laughs> so that'll play wow the records these are some of the older players i have pretty heavy um but again, like, look how vibrant they are. And this guy's like 1964. Yes. They just, you know, so buy vintage because they work, they look clean. They were yeah. made really well. There's another one. Same era. Heavy. Yeah. Portable. Look at that, guys. Oh, my God. 
gosh, Rashad, she's not playing. I like him in all shapes too. So here's a round one. I call this the pancake. Same, really old, works really well. He rocks. Oh my. Um, Okay. Salute to the homie who sent it from Russia. She's got joints from Japan. Yes. Here's another Japanese joint. You got the Hello Kitty GP3. Everybody yes. loves the GP3. And then you got the GMX. This is the mixer that attaches to the GP3. It's I got the this whole from thing. Newmark. So shout out to DJ Newmark. Thank you for that. Is that how you did your quinceanera? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you want to book me, let me know. <laughs> the mini GP3. Wow. So, um, we should move on to the minis because I like the really tiny players. The most. Let's get it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, bro, I'm, she's blowing my mind. These are the ones I take digging with me because, like, this fits in my pocket, this fits in my purse. Um, those tiny records I was showing you guys earlier. That's where they pop on. Wow. Wow. These are the eight band players. <laughs> what? Um, these are called vinyl killers. They really do eat up your vinyl, but this is like an ice cream truck one. So it just spins around your record and it yes. plays audio. Spectacular. Yeah, that's a cool. That is extremely cool. <clears throat> um, this is supposedly to date the tiniest record player ever made, the Mighty Tiny, <laughs> with the little records in it. Wow. Uh, she didn't come to play, Spinner. There's a ton more records, but I'm going to move on because they're heavy. <laughs> okay. Yes, of course. You're getting uh, a workout in that closet. Yeah, there. exactly. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some toys. Yes. Let me flip this. Like, I'm sorry. I don't. Let me try to take this out because I'm not. It's all good. Technologically inept here. Okay. So we got Diana, Selena, Dolly, Shandana. <laughs> if you guys don't know the history of Shandana, please do yourself a favor and look that up. They were a really great company out of LA. Sunny and Cher, you got Mike, gotta have Vanilla Ice, and MC Hammer. Yo, check out those Kazels, though. Oh my god, sis, just go reverse now again. Oh my. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna <laughs> move down the here. Okay. I, yeah, I love Bionic Woman and Six Million Dollar Man, so there's a Bionic Woman. Here is the famous Fembot. She was cool. She popped off her pop off her face, and she becomes a femme. <laughs> oh my! Yeah, this is my Jamie Summers fan club membership. <laughs> I gotta fill this out, but one day I'll frame it. Wow! You got Princess Leia. This is a doll where you could do her hair up. So I like, yeah, I like toys that were, you know, marketed to women also, even though I love it. They were, you know, it was like a male series, whatever, male dominated. Here's Uhura looking fine. Look at her. Um, that's her little tricorder. Wow. See that. We got the Robotech dolls. <laughs> Uh, this is an OG Wonder Woman Migo. Here's her invisible plane. Just kidding. That's like my worst dad joke. Okay. Um, this Catwoman. Oh, you know what? So this is 
Julie Newmar, who played the OG Catwoman. Today is her birthday. She's 87. Julie Newmar! Yep. Just a little history. You got your Charlie's Angels from probably the best episode on the show where she skates down the hill. Um, I love this piece right here. This is the Charlie's Angels adventure van. <laughs> <laughs> She got the adventure back! <laughs> <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. We got, <laughs> we got some peanuts down here. There's Franklin. I love Franklin. <laughs> Stat Lauren Waldorf, or oh. AKA Supreme Little Rock and Scheme Richards. Is what I like to call them. <laughs> Shout out to my homies. Oh my. Sailor Moon. Okay, this is cool. This is a space lady, but this toy is about 70 years old. So you can see her helmet. They're looking good. Uh, this is Ultraman's mom. Her name is Ultra Marie, but I just call her Ultra Mom. You can see her pigtails. <laughs> <laughs> gotta rep for the ladies, so you gotta have the ultra mom. Um, what do we have down here? This is Steve Urkel. <laughs> <laughs> She's out here winning, fam. We got some six million dollar men. Or <sighs> some more angels. Um. Gotta have the clothing for the doll, Sonny and Cher. Got some Michael outfits. Oh my oh gosh. gosh. Hi, Dopey, that's it. Turn the camera around. <laughs> Turn the camera around. This is definitely, I, I like to be disciplined because she has so many gems. We can go on for longer and we have to pause because we are down to our last two minutes. With that being said, Sis, I love you. You are inspiring. I am blown away, speechless, so much. But what was it like showing off your gems? It was nice. Thank you. Because when you hit me up, I had to start going through all these things. And, uh, you know, you kind of forget what you have or you revisit with it. And this stuff really makes me happy. So having to do that, you know, going through them last night, I was I was in the zone. So thank mm -hmm. you so much. For giving me the opportunity to nerd out with you guys. You're and so wonderful. Uh, people can, you're also a dealer, you also sell stuff, yes? Yes, yeah, I mostly sell records, but actually I'm opening a toy store um, in the next coming months. Uh, so please hit me up, I'll be putting out information about it. Uh, it is going to be called Toys Before Boys. So. <laughs> Double P's, we are down to a final seconds. I want to tell you, thank you. You made my heart smile, and a lot of people here know that you're an incredible human being. Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate you. Wow. <laughs>